Welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Stephen. Uh, I'm a lecturer and convener for the Social and Geographic Data Science Master's course. So um, there's an ever-growing national and international demand for qualified professionals and scientists who have data, scientists, uh, data science expertise in solving crucial social and geographical problems. And our course basically provides the training of these next generation data scientists with a unique expertise at the interface of computer science, statistics, and the domain knowledge of geography and social science. And this is how we define social and geographic data science. We're at this confluence. And within this confluence, there's many, many uh, related topics where we use these different methods and tools uh, to solve these social and geographical challenges, including GIS, computer science, um, uh, machine learning, natural language processing, cartography, and also on topics such as political data science, data ethics and politics, urban policy, uh, and urban analytics. So we try to attract many people from a very diverse background uh, into studying social and geographic data science. Yeah, thank you. Next slide. So this is the structure of a program. So um, the program consists of four core modules and four optional modules, where the core modules will give you the foundations of um, both the theoretical and the kind of methodological foundations in conducting kind of data science within this kind of domain of social science and geography. This includes principles of spatial analysis, um, running things like spatial statistics, uh, Bayesian statistics, um, introduction to social data science, and this includes topics such as machine learning, natural language processing, uh, data politics and society, where we look at fundamental theoretical topics in data science, such as data ethics, data privacy, uh, and advanced topics uh, in social data science, where we use methods such as um, deep learning to um, look at these kind of social and geographical problems, like on images or on text. So after these kind of fundamental kind of core modules, the students in the second term would have a lot of uh, opportunities to um, take other modules. Uh, uh, one thing I, I wanted to mention in the core modules, you'll learn two programming languages, namely R and Python, and three of the modules would be practicing these programming languages for use uh, in the optional modules. So in the optional modules, as you see, there are some that is like fundamental to our group, like urban policy, uh, cartography and data visualization, mining and social geographic data sets, and, G and GI systems and science. But we also have a number of different modules, both within the department, such as environmental GIS, and specifically uh, a number of modules on remote sensing, because it's closely linked, uh, as well as other um, modules in climate change, uh, and other modules uh, beyond uh, the department of of geography, uh, such as with CASA on uh, remotely sensing cities and digital public health. Next. So who is this program for? So it's fundamentally for basically the future data scientists uh, who wants to learn more about these tools to solve fundamentally social and geographical problems. So not just um, general data scientists, but data scientists who wants to solve these issues. May that be uh, planting trees in Chicago using a combination of machine vision and geographic weighted regression, identifying neighborhoods using like natural language processing or, or uh, street network analysis, or associating walkability indicators to like social and health outcomes like body mass index for planning healthier cities. We also look at using kind of like sentiments analysis to look at parliamental speeches, identifying hate speech on social media, or mining mobility and consumer data for businesses to answer questions such as, where should I place a shop or a cafe? The program is particularly suitable for students with an undergraduate degree that has some quantitative component in social science and or urban analytics. Um, so you, you don't need to come with a, a lot of quantitative component because you'll learn a lot of that in the fundamental modules or with relevant professional experience in data science, GIS, geographic information science, urban planning, smart cities, and social data science. Um, and the entry requirement will be a 2-1 
in the bachelor degree in the relevant disciplines from a UK university and or, or an overseas university of an equivalent standard. And below are just some like images I pull from what the students um, would be analyzing. For example, getting like building heights from satellite images, retrieving like where are like, I don't know, your build form from the street imagery uh, or like running like network analysis uh, on these street network graphs from OpenStreetMaps. Next. Next, yeah. So where do graduates go? Uh, what do graduates do afterwards? So um, there's a, a national and international need for data scientists, as you probably know, is a very popular term nowadays. And these graphs on the right just shows you the the popularity and 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 is uh, this it seems to be with more data, this is only going to, the demand will only uh, increase. Um, so primarily, most students went on to get jobs in data scientists. Uh, data science, data analysts, or as a geospatial analyst, uh, as urban planner and urban designer who are now more and more equipped with these skills or consultants or as researchers. And they work primarily in in sectors and private sectors such as um, Arab or Huawei or Deloitte or Zoopla, which are like real estate and uh, IT and transport planning companies uh, or movement strategies would look at looking at mobility data or these like large consultancy like KPMG or architecture companies like Fosters and Partners. Some also go into the public sector, uh, like the local authorities, um, like kind of like improving and upskilling local authorities is where some of the students went. For example, maybe previously they were using Excel, but now they're using a lot more data science pipeline to solve some of these issues uh, using Python or R. Uh, some went to OECD to look at like, um, uh, um, kind of uh, inequality in 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 terms of um, productivity and so forth. And there's also an academic institute. Some went on to do PhD studies, both with the UCL or other universities overseas, like Peking U. Uh, some went to the Consumer Data Research Center, which is kind of fundamentally linked uh, with our program, uh, and the Alan Turing Institute, which is a national institute of data science and AI in the country. Thank you. Next. Yeah, and if you're interested, please take a look at our link. And for like kind of logistic application question, please email geography to office. Uh, if you have some questions for me specifically, please email me at uh, stephen.law uh, at ucl.ac.uk. Thank you.